You know that feeling when you've already finished your presentation and then you realize you want to change a few things? Maybe the layout doesn't feel quite right and you wish you could try a few new slide designs? Or maybe some slides are just too text heavy and you'd love to make them more visual and engaging? But you also know what that means – hours of manual editing, resizing, aligning and formatting. Definitely not fun. Now imagine there was a tool that could do all of those edits for you automatically and all you would need to do is tell it what changes you want to make and it would handle everything in seconds. Well my friends, that tool exists. It's called Gamma Agent and in this video we'll take a look at the 10 must know tips to use it effectively. So let's go. And first of all, let's go to Gamma.app and over here we can start using Gamma for absolutely free. So let's just click on start for free and we can sign in with a Google account. And once we're logged in, let's just click on create with AI. And now we get a couple of options. We can paste in text from our notes. We can generate a presentation from a prompt. We can import a file or we can remix a template. So let's just go with generate and let me paste in my prompt. I would like to create a pitch deck for my fitness app, One Gym, that gives users access to multiple US gyms under one subscription. And I'm providing slide titles for all of the 10 slides I would like it to generate. And feel free to provide any specific slide details if you wish. And over here, you can set the number of cards, which are basically the number of slides. Let's keep it at 10. And for the page style, let me go with traditional 16 by 9. And now let's click on Generate Outline. And skadoosh, the outline is being generated before our eyes. That's nice, it should only take a couple of seconds until it's done. That's beautiful. And now at this point, we can make changes to our outline if we wish. We can add new cards or new slides. We can drag our slides around. For example, let's move the traction slide a little bit lower, just like that. And we can change the content itself. So let's say that instead of 3 millions, we'll ask for 5 millions from our investors. That's beautiful. Now over here, we can adjust how much text we'd like to have on our slides. Let's keep it at concise and we can change the theme for our presentation. Let's check out what other dark themes we have. This one looks beautiful. This one is nice as well. But let's just go with this verdigris theme. I really like its color palette. And over here, we can choose what kind of images we'd like to use. Let's keep it at AI images. We can choose an image model. Let's just leave it at auto select. And for the image art style, let's go with photorealistic. And additionally, I'll add these keywords, cinematic 3D illustration. This means we should get photorealistic cinematic 3D illustration style images. And now let's just click on generate. Alright, Gamma has finished creating all of the 10 pitch deck slides for the One Gym Fitness app that gives access to multiple gyms under one subscription. That's beautiful. And now let's go quickly through the slides and let's see what Gamma has helped us to create so far. And I can see we have some pretty nice visual slides. We have image placeholders, we have charts, we have infographics. That's really impressive. And now let's say we'd like to add two more slides. Right now we have 10 slides, so let's add two more. And this is where we can start using the Gamma Agent to help us out. Let's just click on it and let's type in what we would like to do. Add two more slides, one for the team and one for the contact details. And let's see how it handles this prompt. And Skadoosh, Gamma Agent has added a contact slide and a team member slide. That's nice. And let's say that instead of three team members, we'd like to have six members on our team slide. So let's ask for exactly that. And let's see how Gamma Agent handles our request. And once again, Gamma has successfully completed the task. Here is the original version and this is the version with six team members. Let's keep it. And now let me just slightly adjust the column width so that all of the team members nicely fit into two rows. That's looking beautiful. And next, my friends, let's say that you like your images, but you would like to try a different image style. So let's ask for exactly that. Let's ask Gamma Agent to regenerate all images in, for example, a 3D vector illustration style. And let's see what happens. And just like that, all of our presentation images have been restyled in this new 3D vector illustration style. That's nice. However, if you think that your images are looking a bit too cartoony right now, then let's try a different style. And this time, let's ask for a photorealistic vector illustration style. 
and let's see what we'll get. And I really like how this turned out. Let's keep this style of images. So just keep in mind, if you want to restyle all of your presentation images, just ask Gamma Agent and it will do that for you. And now the next cool thing we can do is we can animate our static images. So let's do exactly that. Let's make sure that any image is selected and let's type in this prompt, animate this image and let's see what happens. And skadoosh, here it is. Now we have this looping animation with all of the cards flying around. That's nice. This was the previous version and this is the animated one. That's really cool. Let's find one more picture that we could try animating. For example, these two guys shaking hands. Let's type in the same prompt, animate the image. Let me fast forward a bit. And here they are shaking their hands. That's nice. So this is how easy it is to animate images in Gamma. And now let's keep on going. And next, my friends, let's say we'd like to try a new slide layout for one of our slides. Then all we have to do is click on this button, edit with AI. And after that, try new layout. And then on the right side, we'll get a couple of new slide layout suggestions. Let's pick, for example, this one. And just like that, we get a nice new visual slide design. That's awesome. And next, imagine you have a text heavy slide and you'd like to make it more visual. In that case, you can use this prompt, edit this card and make it more visual by adding images, icons or smart diagrams to illustrate the concepts. So this slide is not too bad, but let's try this prompt on this slide and let's see what happens. And as you can see, this slide definitely got more visual. We have an image, we have some icons, we have a smart diagram and we even have a chart. At this point, it might be even a bit too much, but you can always delete any of the elements that you don't need. And that's how easy it is to make your text heavy slides visual. And now the next powerful thing you can do with Gamma Agent is rewrite your entire presentation for a different audience. For example, my pitch deck is currently tailored for the United States, but with Gamma Agent, we can rewrite it for the European market. Let's see how it works. And as you can see, the slides are now focused on Europe. That's really nice. It even updated the currency. Euros are being used instead of dollars. And all I can say, this rewrite feature is super powerful and does save you a ton of time. And next, my friends, let's say you have an article and you would like to extract information from it and add it to one of your slides. For that, you can use this prompt, update this card with information from this link and simply paste in the link. And to be precise, let's specify which card should be updated. For example, we can tell the agent that card number four should be updated with information from the article. And at the same time, we can ask the agent to include citations and let's see how it does. And there we go. The agent has updated the market opportunity card with information from the article we provided. You can also see a source citation at the bottom of the card. And if you want, you can insert multiple links to different articles in the same prompt. That's super awesome. And the next useful thing we can do is attach an image of a chart or a table that we have. In this case, I'm attaching an image of a chart showing one gym user growth in the first six months. Now we can ask Gamma Agent to extract the information from this chart and create a real editable chart and add it directly into the slide. Let's see how it handles this. And there we go. The editable chart has been created and added to the slide. That's really powerful. And next, let's say you'd like to translate your entire presentation into a different language. So let's try translating all of these slides into Lithuanian. And since I'm Lithuanian, I can tell you it does look accurate. So that's great. And you probably don't understand Lithuanian that well. So let's switch back to English. And now let's try something else. Let's add an executive summary to the presentation. We can do this easily by clicking on the quick edits button and then selecting add an executive summary. And there we go. The executive summary has been added right after the title slide and it looks great. And finally, let's check out all of the slides that we've created with Gamma today. I have to say the results are really impressive, especially when you consider how many complex edits we were able to easily make with the Gamma agent. So make sure you try it out as well. Link is in the video description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.